On today's menu, an incredible recipe that's great for feeding a crowd or for meal prep. A delicious quinoa and veggie bowl. Lei ho ma, that's how it's going in Cantonese. Welcome to Young Man Cooking, I'm Will Young. This recipe is perfect for if you're hosting or just feeding a lot of people. It's super easy and really delicious. Of course, as always, before we get started, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. Let's begin. Half cup quinoa. Give the quinoa a rinse and drain. This recipe is quite versatile. You can also use couscous, frika, or even brown rice. One cup water. Medium high heat. Large mixing bowl. About 150 grams arugula. Coarsely chop about 50 grams of fresh parsley. Be sure to save the stalks for making soups or vegetable stock. When the water begins to bubble, give the quinoa a good stir. Cover and cook on medium low for 20 minutes. Two mini cucumbers diced. I find mini cucumbers have a really nice fresh crunch, but of course you can use standard English cucumbers instead. Slice about a half cup of olives. In this episode, I'm using garlic stuffed olives just to give it that extra kick of flavor. Chop into bite-sized pieces a 400 ml can hearts of palm. Four hundred ml can chickpeas. You can save the aquafaba or the chickpea water to make a deliciously thick mayonnaise. Rinse and drain the chickpeas. About a third cup hemp hearts. Half a red onion, thinly sliced. You can substitute this with shallots or even green onions will be fantastic with this recipe. This recipe here is good for about four to six portions, depending on if you're using it as an entree or a side to something else. This is fantastic for hosting larger groups or if you're just meal prepping in general. All you have to do is simply multiply the ingredients and of course, get a larger mixing bowl. Fluff the quinoa and let it cool for a few minutes. As you see, as we finish this recipe, there's really no actual dressing for it. So it's imperative to get the best cherry tomatoes you can find. I just so happen to be lucky to have these local cherry tomatoes that just are extraordinary and have this really nice sweet flavor. These ones come on the vine and they literally taste like vine tomatoes. They have that really nice aroma but of course, just in a miniature form. How does that saying go about pasta sauce? It's only as good as the tomatoes. Non-stick pan, medium heat, about a teaspoon olive oil. In this episode, I'm using about 350 grams of cherry tomatoes. Allow the tomatoes to char for a couple of minutes. Give it a toss, then let it char again for another couple of minutes. Transfer the quinoa to the mixing bowl. Be patient and allow the tomatoes to get a nice char and start to blister. This will completely change the flavor personality of the tomatoes, opposed to adding them just raw. Transfer the tomatoes straight away to the mixing bowl. Juice of one lemon. Add about a half teaspoon of salt. And fresh cracked pepper to taste. Add a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. Mix to combine. The juices from the blistered tomatoes will become a bit of a dressing.
plate generously. You can now enjoy this fantastic recipe with absolute confidence. This is like a work of art, just beautiful. Not only is it visually stunning, the flavors are just sensational. I absolutely love the play between the fresh greens and the quinoa, the chickpeas, the hemp hearts, the hearts of palm. They all add so much body, and yet the arugula and the parsley has this lightness, and it's just so refreshing. There's a little bit of that pepperiness from the arugula that goes so well in contrast with the sweetness and a little bit of that acidity from the charred cherry tomatoes. You get a slight pungentness from the red onions and a bit of that saltiness from the stuffed olives. The quinoa is nice and fluffy and in combination with the hemp hearts, it's really quite delightful and earthy. It's lightly seasoned but has that fruitiness from the olive oil and the brightness from that fresh lemon juice. Like I said before, this simple to put together dish can be made really easily just by simply multiplying the ingredients and of course having that bigger mixing bowl. And you can make this delicious recipe in the same amount of time as the quinoa needs to cook. Sautéing those tomatoes beforehand completely changes its personality and it's just so delicious. And if you love easy delicious recipes like this, then definitely check out or pick up your copy of one of the four Young Man Cooking Cookbooks. There is a print or digital version of these books you can check out in the link in the description box below or you can visit youngmancooking.com. You can also check out the Plant-Based Sushi Masterclass or the other Young Man Cooking merch in that same link. Of course, if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you're not already subscribed with that notification bell clicked, remember to do so so that we can cook together again in the next episode.